Hello, I'm going to have a custom Lego minifigure review from Citizen Brick. If you want to check my other videos, click right up here, or links will be down below. This was uh, a couple weeks ago. They released um, some newer uh, style of military minifigures, along with some restocks of their tactical legs, which I really loved, and I got uh, mostly all the colors, I think, along with some new heads and new torsos. So we're going to jump right into it. First comes in the order uh, is these new stickers, the gold and silver sticker, which is really cool. I like the metallicness to it, or the shine to it. Look at that. Nice shine, so awesome new stickers. Can't wait to see what other ones they have. I don't know if they have maybe uh, a reverse color or not. Uh, we'll start with the legs, and then I'll build the minifigures from there. So these are mostly tactical pants, along with some um, the Vietnam grunt style legs. I'm just going to stack them all. And then I am planning to make some really cool minifigures with the tactical legs. So we're going to stack these ones, and then these four. So these are all pretty much, they're similar style, they're just different colors. So tack pants first, I believe I may have showed these in the past on a different video, but these are their tactical pants. I got, I think this is dark bluish gray, uh, dark tan, this one might be tan or light tan, and then this is, I believe this is olive green. Let me check my color list. Um, let's see if I can find them. So tack pants, we have olive, which are for sure those ones, tan, dark tan, so tan, dark tan, and then, yep, dark bluish gray. So those are these four colors. Of course, they are all the same, so I will show the tan, just because you can see the detailing a little better. Uh, the belt on the waist is nice. You see, it's kind of like a tactical belt, more of a clip than uh, a belt buckle. You can see the loops. Uh, coming down to the top of the legs, you got uh, two pouches right there, and then down further are the knee pads. And then down even further, you can see where the boot line is, which is nice. Coming to the side, you can see the belt printing is on the side with some more loops. There's some pockets stitching down the seam, a pocket right here on the left side. Uh, some creases in the pants, you can see they are going over the boots or the shoes. You can see the seam stitching, some wrinkles. Side printing on the shoes or boots are nice. Printing is the same on both sides. It looks like it. Oh, no, a little bit different. Um, the wrinkle on this side is different from this side. But everything else looks the same. And then to the back, they did print uh, on the back of the waist and the back of the shoes, which is, um, is very rare sometimes. They don't always print on the back of the legs. So you can see the boot design. Um, it doesn't look like it goes in the holes. It might. No, it doesn't. So it doesn't go in the holes. And then they did print on the back of the waist, and you can see some pant line detail right here as well. So tactical pants, like I said, I'm planning to use these uh, for some cool minifigs. So you'll be able to see those soon. I'm going to do them in two stacks, just so they're right there. Next, uh, these are the Vietnam grunt legs. But if you look at the other style of pants, they are the same, just different colors. These ones are used a lot for German minifigs. Um, and you can see, so there's olive... Um, what color is this one? I forgot. This one is the Vietnam grunt one, so I'm, I will be making a minifig right now out of these ones. Let's see, get the colors right, of course. So Vietnam grunt legs are these ones. Um, I don't see them. I'm just looking through my order list just so I get the colors right. So there's dark, um, so the other ones are called bootlegs V2. So there's dark tan, uh, which is in the other bag, uh, dark bluish gray, sand green, which I believe is these ones right here, and then olive green, which is these ones, and then tan. So I think I have... Oh, so actually these are not the uh, new grunt legs. These are the new grunt legs. Let me get those out. I want to see if they're different. Okay, so there is a difference. So the new grunt legs have printing on the side of the boots and pockets and a little bit different uh, detailing on the sides for the printing near the boots. So I'll show those in a second. Like I said, there is a dark tan. There we go. So these are the just uh, version 2 boots. And you can see... Boot printing is nice. Again, you got like a tucked in design uh, for the legs. 
and it does go all the way around again they did print on the back of these ones as well which is nice that added extra detail is just nice I like it so those are the bootlegs which I do plan to make minifigs out of these ones as well now here are the new grunt legs so these are the new ones so printing on the front is the same along with the boot design but on the sides it does have a pocket on the upper left side and along with a little bit different uh, detailing for the pants going into the boots and there is boot printing so you can see some holes for the laces along with side printing on the boots same as this side the detailing is a little bit different but boots and pocket are in the same location and then printing on the back should be the same oh actually no they did print uh, printing on the back of the boots so the new grunt legs are actually really cool really detailed so this is the new grunt torso and then I did get I do like I got the new heads which I think were possible restocks in all three colors so I'm gonna decide which one I want he does have yellow hands so I think I'll just do that one and we will put his helmet on so he, um, helmets I believe are not new these might have been just a restock or they had them but these are the printed M1 pot brick arms helmets and then the uh, new heads which are chin strap heads which did come in yellow um, light flesh and dark flesh and you can see he's got the chin strap so really this minifig would only work with a helmet which makes sense but that is my Vietnam grunt coming down to his chest and torso you can see he does have new printing on the torso so again he's got uh, pouches with a tactical rig he does have his dog tags showing which is nice he does have some pouches on his shirt underneath see two pouches right here could be a smoke grenade or a canteen right there he's got a bandolier going across no printing on the side of the arms for the body and then to the back you can see the back of his tactical rig two canteens on the back uh, he does have a backpack with uh, would be like a blanket or a sleeping bag on top you see his pouches right here it does say US on there little details are nice so that's the new Vietnam grunt that you can make with the CV parts and the other one is going to be I believe I don't know if I got them they did release a new um, brick arms helmet with print on it for the Russians See the star on it right there. And then I don't think I got the right torso for the to create the Russian. Um, here are the other two chin strap heads. So the light flesh and dark flesh. And then they also released a sweaty head in yellow. I, I already have the flesh tone version. Got the one in yellow. So some cool new added parts. Now we're going to show their new tactical vests and um, what are the other ones called? So they had two new styles of vests, which one is going to be called tactical vest and then there's a tactical vest rig, chest rig. I don't know which one is which. So I'm going to show them all and try to categorize them the same. I could probably figure it out. Okay, so I can see which one's the rig and which one's just a tactical vest because I think I was missing one of the colors in the uh, rig. Let's make sure just in case. Yep, okay. So these ones are the tactical chest rig. Again, you can see they are all the same, just in different colors. So you can use them for different variations in war, of course. So we have um, tan, light bluish gray, dark bluish gray, and the last color, I believe, is the, um, yeah, the either olive or sand green. I can't remember. I think it's sand. No, this is olive. Olive green, yep. So we'll just do the gray one, show the detailing since they are all the same. You can see he's got the neck scarf. I forgot what they're called, schmagmas or schmecks or something like that. If you know in the comments, let me know down below. You can see he does have the rig on. So he's got four pouches right here on the front, two little ones on the sides. You can see it does clip on... Um, on the sides it does have a little radio right here pockets on his shirt and does button up and you can see how they all look so same printing on them all 
And then on the back of the minifig, you can see the back of his neck scarf. Usually it be a head cover too, you pull it over. You see his tactical rig going down the body, which would connect over the shoulders. There are some uh, pieces that you tighten it the uh, rig up. Two pouches on his lower left side, you can see the belt right here. And then he does have a radio on his lower right side. And then you can see, again, it is all the same for each torso. And I really like these ones. I really like their new tactical style minifigs or styles because you can do a lot with these. You can make any kind of minifigure you want, really. So those are the new tactical rigs. And now the last ones, which I did am missing a color, um, dark tan. I did not, well, I was not able to get one. I think that was like a lighter one. Um, as in they didn't have a lot of those colors or that color. This one is just the tactical vest. So you can see I got light bluish gray tan and the um, olive. Of course we start just the light bluish gray so you can see printing is all the same. He is, does have a tactical rig on, so tactical vest. And then with a lot of moly straps and pouches, you can see he has a radio on the front, two pouches right here, the moly straps underneath. He would have his patch right there in the center, stitching on top. You can see these straps that would go over to the uh, shoulders to the back. Two bigger pouches, and he does have two mag pouches right there on the front. And you can see it is the same for the tan and the olive. I kind of prefer the olive. I don't know, it just looks the nicest. Or the dark tan, which I wanted. Onto the back of the torso, you can see his rig again. A lot of the moly strapping is showing this time. You can see these straps that went over the top to the back. You can see stitching on the edges of the um, the carrier. And then he's got four pouches on the lower back side. And you can see that for all three of the torsos. So a lot of new military galore kind of stuff. Uh, like I said, I plan on making a bunch of new figures with all these parts. Um, I think I needed to get one more part to create the Russian dude, but I wanted to. Um, but links are down below for all these. I know a lot of the tactical eggs are sold out along with the chest rigs and stuff like that. But if you want to get something, you can check down below. Be sure to leave a like if you already liked the video, and subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And as always, thanks for watching.